So do you have an iPhone? Are you taking full advantage of the Apple ecosystem? Are you taking full advantage of that Apple app store? Probably not. You probably have a couple of apps that you visit every now and then. Well, in this video, I'm going to open your world up to some really cool apps you're probably not using. Stick around, buckle up and let the download begin. So guys, if you're new here and you wanna learn how to use and troubleshoot devices, plus some other cool tech stuff, we can help with that. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you don't miss and release some cool, helpful content. So one of the first ones we're gonna kick it off with is actually one of my favorite apps that are available. Something that helps with boredom and anxiety, something that I experience on a day-to-day -day basis. This app is kind of just there to make you feel better in general by just playing around with your phone and having some fun with it. So it's called Fluid and when you launch the app one of the first things you'll see is that normally it's just a blank screen and all you really have to do is just start moving your finger around the screen and you'll start seeing some colors and some designs and and this is it this is really all the app is but if you kind of get into it it's really just a relaxing time especially if you have some music going on in the background some very just relaxing music you can kind of just tap and get lost in the colors and it takes full advantage of that beautiful iphone screen and gives you the ability to get lost in the colors that you're seeing on the screen itself and really what this app is it's just there to provide some relief from your day-to-day -day anxiety it gives you something additional to focus on other than your issues and your problems and it's really just kind of a meditative state I believe that meditation is really key for a healthy mindset and i think this app does a lot to help you kind of unwind play around and be a kid every now and then so the next app we're actually going to talk about is one of my favorites it's going to be google drive and i suggest this app to just about everyone because just about everyone has a google drive account because everyone has a gmail account so with google drive you have the ability to just basically have access to your cloud storage information across all the devices that are linked to your google device so this is a way for users to kind of link an apple device to an android device or an apple device to a laptop that is not an apple laptop and still have access to all your things the way you would with icloud or airdrop or any of those particular options via Apple. So if you store something in your Google Drive account, you have the ability to access that pictures, music, movies, and just pull that down into the current device that you're logged into with your Google Drive. It gives you free storage just for having a Google account. And it gives you the ability to create documents online, share those documents with others that can then mark up those documents or make changes and put them back into your drive. So it's a great collaboration application as well. It just offers a myriad of different things that you can do to store information media and just about anything and access it from again any device that has your google account or has the ability to log into your google account i think google drive is probably one of the best cloud storages that are currently available yeah you should definitely try to use it because it can really improve your workflow and your overall enjoyment of just storing and accessing your information so the next one is going to be spotify stations this one's actually pretty cool as well and what it is is just an extension of spotify it gives you the ability to create specific stations that you can access at the touch of a fingertip instead of scrolling and searching through spotify for an artist or a category or anything of that nature you can just download spotify stations create a a station and that station is going to represent basically the kind of music you want to listen to at that moment so you can create a station specifically for Eminem or create a station that's specifically rock or hip-hop or R&B and then click that station and off you go. You're basically playing audio that resembles that particular type of music. And one of the cool things is that the station actually learns the more you use it. So the more things that you like, the more things that you dislike, your station starts adapting to your listening style. So you'll start getting more music that you like versus music that's just randomized. So the more you use it, the better it gets. And it's actually a really cool device. There's no additional cost to it and you can link it to your pre-existing Spotify membership or you can just use it with the free Spotify version as well so there's no ties or contracts that are needed so the next thing we're going to take a look at is my fitness pal and this is for the fitness lover in you or anyone that just wants to get healthy and be a healthy person which should be everyone. So MyFitnessPal gives you the ability to track your food, track your exercises, track your water, check your macros. It has a macro computer that's built in to tell you how much you should be eating per day, what your calorie intake is, what your salt intake, your protein. You can basically just get really granular with the information that you're processing through MyFitnessPal. This has helped me personally lose a ton
ton of weight. I think I've lost about a hundred pounds and I focused on using my fitness pal just to kind of track the foods that I was eating, the things that I wasn't supposed to be eating. It kind of tells you when you're hitting your danger zone of fat and calories and salts. And if you're really into fitness for those who are getting that new year's resolution of just being fit healthier, this is definitely going to be one of those apps you want to have on your phone because it really helps you do all that. And just by attrition of tracking that information, you actually start just paying attention to the things that you're putting into your body and you can actually just get a little bit healthier every day. So now this is a really cool one for anyone studying for anything, students or people who are higher education or advancing their education or just trying to study for a certification or anything of that nature. This app is called Note. And basically what it does is it takes all the notes that you have gathered and it automatically generates quizzes from your notes. That's actually pretty cool. Instead of using like flashcards or things like that to learn, this thing actually takes all the things that you've written in and imported into the application and generates quizzes based on those notes. And you can kind of quiz yourself on your notes, which we all know quizzes help you learn a lot better. So this can be extremely helpful for that college student or again, that person that's just studying for a certification and needs that additional help to kind of get to know the material a little bit better. The app works really well. You can import import notes from either Google Drive or taking a picture of the notes itself and it scans it into the application. You can write your notes personally in the application itself. It gives you a myriad of ways that you can actually get your notes into the application. And then once it does that machine learning and processing to generate the test, you get your scores, you get your information. And I think this can come in handy for someone just trying to learn something new. And then we also have Lockdown. So what Lockdown is, is basically the first open source firewall for iOS. And it basically just gives you the ability to lock down your phone you can block connections you can block domains basically protect your privacy on the internet and best of all it's free so you can actually just download it and start using it immediately to defend your phone so now it works with all apps so you don't have to just use it on browsers it's helpful as a vpn option so you can basically hide your internet connection as well and security has become such a big thing so you want to make sure that there's no intrusions happening in your phone there's no third parties trying to access information in your phone permissions for applications in your phone have become extremely important as well especially when you have sensitive or private information on the phones this thing actually really does help to block a lot of those worries that you may have about your information either leaking out or people gaining access to your device unwarranted so if you're concerned about privacy at all you should definitely check this app out it will come in handy you will love it and your phone will be so much more protected from it so what's your favorite app that you're using that you're sure no one else is using go ahead and share that in the comment section below this video check out this video here it's a big headphone showdown that we did between some of the latest headphones that are available in 2019 and this is something youtube believes you'd enjoy watching guys thank you so much for checking out the video if you enjoyed it don't forget to like share subscribe with that bell for notifications so you don't miss when release some cool helpful content like this one until next time guys peace